Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna fix this vector real quick for one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. One of the members was trying to create a toolpath off of this and this particular overlapping vector here gives him a problem. So we'll show that problem real quick and then go into fixing this issue. So when we try and calculate the toolpath, we have vector intersections were found. Please identify using the vector doctor. The vector doctor is this little tool that identifies problems that uh, CarveCo can't quite determine what you want to do with your car by itself. So you've got to go through and fix some of these issues. And a big one is intersections. It doesn't know if you're trying to do one versus the other, stop the bit there. And you, you know, there's, there's a bunch of options that it can do. Now, some other software, it has less controls on what the bit can do. So it, it chooses for you what it wants to do based on your toolpath path um, that you've selected. Now, since CarveCo has so many possible options it can do, it puts it back in your core and says, hey, there's a problem. I don't know what to do. You gotta fix it. So in this case, I have intersections at these points where these lines cross over. There's a few ways to fix this. The quickest way to do it doesn't quite result in the cleanest carve at the end, depending on the detail of your design. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and do the quick way and then I'll show you the slightly longer method. So in this fast method, we're just gonna go ahead and fill these vectors with color and then create a new vector based off of that color. We can use this flood fill tool here. However, using the flood fill tool, it doesn't fill this area and you can see our pixels are kind of outside of it. So when it creates the new vector, there's gonna be some averaging there and it might um, mess up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and undo that. And to get better pixels, I can adjust the resolution of this design, bring it all the way up as high as I can, press okay. We get a warning saying you can't go back, which means it's gonna start using more of the graphics card going forward. So let's go ahead and do that bitmap fill again. And I don't know how well you can see, but the pixels would be a little bit smaller now, and then it's a little bit more detail. However, we still have that section there with the white. And we need the entire thing to be black for this to carve the way that we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select part of it and do bitmap blood fill. Select this other part, bitmap blood fill. And now that I have these, I can get rid of the original vector. So now I have no vector anymore. So if I go to 3D view, all my vectors are missing. These ones still exist. So I'm gonna go ahead now that I have this color in here and do vector bitmap to vector. And the default color here is the black color as well. So if you use a different color, you just have to select that in here. And I have create boundary selected. So it's gonna create a new vector based off of the averaging outlines of those pixels. So you see here, some of them are on the inside and some of them are on the outside. and They kind of overlap a little bit. So there could be some loss depending on the detail of your design. So now when I go in here, I can select that vector and click calculate and I get a good toolpath. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that toolpath and undo a little bit. That way we can get back to where the model was before. And here we are. So the other way to do it, which is gonna result in a lot more crisp corners and no averaging the way that the vector is created. So in order to do that, we need to trim off these intersecting areas. And to do that, I'm gonna grab this trim vectors tool right here and zoom in so we can see them real well. And just start trimming these sections that are in between. Now for a big vector, uh, you, you might wanna do this the other way, depending on, again, how much detail you have and what you're okay with losing and averaging. So now we've fixed those, and you might think that we can just go ahead and create a toolpath now. However, our vectors are still discrete pieces and we have to join them back together. Um, so to do that, I'm gonna select these two at once, right click, uh, and just choose join with endpoints. And now that is one vector. I'm gonna do the same thing over here with this section. That same function can be found up here by going vector join move end nodes and 
And once we get all these pieces here joined together, now I can select them and create the toolpath again. Now doing it this way, I didn't really alter the vector shapes. I just uh, cut them and rejoin them. So select that same carving tool again. And we can calculate our vector. So that is just two different quick ways to correct for uh, vector intersections and other similar issues within CarveCo.